Welcome to another how-to video. My name is Ditek, CTO at DVS, and today we're going to take a look at a brand new product from Hype Vision. Thanks to, for Toshiba for all the support, we are now supported by Toshiba on the YouTube channel, so thank you very much. For those of you that don't know, Toshiba make uh, surveillance and enterprise level hard drives, which is what we are now offering our customer base, but more to follow on that later. So today, what are we looking at? So, Hype Vision IP powered PoE speaker, IP powered, P PoE powered IP speaker, a horn speaker, we're looking at the i-series NVR and we're looking at, or you could use Hype Central as another method to connect these. So the idea of the new Hype Vision PoE powered speaker is that you link an event, so a VCA event from a camera, which we've got there, um, via the i-series NVR, which will then trigger an automated message, which you've just heard. Now you can link multiple cameras to multiple messages, which we'll show you shortly. And using Hike Central, it's a customized version, version 1.6, um, that will allow you to add up to 512 of these PoE speakers into the system and allow you to talk to one or many speakers at the same time, as well as the automated messages that come from the iSeries NVR. So as somebody walks into your premises, like say for instance, a car showroom, uh, open court, I walk in front of it, So you could say, welcome to X showroom. Uh, so people are aware that they're triggering something. So they're aware that you're, you know, they're being monitored. The current version is IPPoE speaker linked to an iSeries um, device or Hike Central with the automated message. Now this will develop further where we'll be able to talk through the NVR to the IPPoE speakers. That's not currently possible in the basic format. You'd have to use Hike Central if you wanted that integration, but you get the box you get the IP rated PoE speaker. So typical horn format, you can see there with a the mounting bracket and you've got the pre-made fly lead with the PoE in there. So obviously don't put this outside, that needs to be installed into a weatherproof box or you know internally, um, but external grade speaker, uh, fit it onto the PoE network. So put it onto a standard PoE switch. Um, I would put it on a PoE plus switch. And then we use a software, which I'm going to show you right now when I transfer you over through the magic of YouTube, uh, where we need to set the IP address and then we link it to an audio upload tool through the iSeries NVR. You've seen the DVR, we fitted that, so there's a couple of steps you need to take here. With the IP audio speaker, once you've got it on the network, you need to use the IP speaker configuration tool. So I put them in a folder here and we can send this if you're a DVS customer, we'll send this folder to you. So under the IP speaker, we've got firmware and software. We've got the dedicated version of Hike Central. You can see it's version 1.6. We've got the IP speaker firmware, so you can upgrade that if it's, ours came out on version uh, 6, so we're okay on that. But if it's an older version, you can update, up, update it. We've got the NVR firmware, so the iSeries custom firmware to include the audio linkage. And we've also got the NVR audio upload tool. So this is the IP speaker tool, which we've already employed here or deployed, which will allow us to um, add the NVR to upload the custom audio files. So IP speaker managing tool, you need to run this first and you can just use NA manager. So within there and it'll search your network for any devices. So you can see here it's found the device. You click on it, it's online gives us an IP address because I've already set this and it's on version six. But if I wanted to adjust this, I can right click, click update, and then I can actually start um, either updating the firmware, but I don't need to do that by selecting the bin file. Or I can just simply change the details by double clicking on it. I can change the details. So this is the model number. So that's the model number of the IP horn, current firmware version, which so far is the latest. IP address and etc. So to change any of these parameters, you open the tool, find the speaker, go into base parameters, and you can enable DHCP or you can disable it and set an IP address, which I've done, and then you can enable the DNS if you need it. Now you can set the setting of the server, so you can point it to the that IP address is the IP address of the NVR that you want it to talk to. So the primary server, that's the fixed IP address of the NVR port number, admin, and the password for this is 1234. Um, and again, you can update that and click save. Again, I don't need to do any of this. I've already pointed it, uh, but you can adjust that. Intercom parameters, so again, this 
moving forward, we'll be able to do a lot more with the speaker. But for now, the basic functionality is to speak to either Hike Central or to the iSeries NVR, and there will be more added as we go along. Inputs, outputs, etc. And you can see there, there's some menus here, which so far, we don't really need to go into any of this right now. Um, the basic gist is getting this talking, like I said, to the NVR or the Hike Central. Once we're happy with that, we can we'll just cancel because I've already saved it. We can actually exit this tool down. Once we've set it, we need to then, in this folder, go back to the firmware software. Then we need to get the NVR firmware ready. Then we need to web browse into the NVR firmware. So I'm going to add admin. And then basically, we need to update the firmware, which we've already done here. Um, hopefully, this will be baseline functionality moving forward, but for now, it is custom firmware. So in maintenance, browse to the file, unzip it, select it, and update it. Once you've done that, what you'll find then is under system settings, Channel. Yeah, so you're just making sure I've added one camera to it, so that's good. Okay, so we're good to go on there. Let me just check. Oh, that is it. Yeah, so we're good to go. Okay, so we've added one camera to it just for testing. So we've set the IP address here, um, and we've added one camera to it. So just a standard AccuSense camera. What you'll see, there's an IP speaker menu here. So basic settings, IP speaker, and we'll go through that uh, shortly. But to add this, I can have one to four speakers on this current firmware. So enable it, IP speaker one, username is admin, password, IP address. That's the IP address of the speaker that we set earlier in that tool. Uh, port is the default port. Speaker volume, I'm going to turn it up to 100 and click save, um, just so you can hear it when we trigger the line. And then the first binding camera is camera one. And second binding camera, if I add a secondary binding camera, I can choose camera one and camera two. And the speaker is online. So once you fill the details in, click save, the speaker will come in line and you do that for speakers one, two, three, four. So really, really simple. Okay, so what we need to do then, um, first of all, if you need to go into the web browser, the IP speaker will also support the web browser function. So you can use admin, default password, one, two, three, four. And again, you can set, so you can do the IP address in there. You can set the server. That's the IP address of the NVR, like I said, in the default port. You've got like SIP settings and stuff in there, but this is more about um, for us using it with the NVR and Hike Center right now. And then you've got a test function, so status to be test. So I can click on the test. So you'll play us a little song. Wait for that to end. There we go. So we know the speaker works. IP filtering, maintenance, so restart, restore default, security, and then overview. So it's nice and simple. What you can do, um, moving, what I will do, uh, sorry, is look at this SIP account a little bit in more detail on another video. SIP is quite difficult um, thing to talk about. I need to set up a SIP server basically. So leave that with me and I'll come back on a separate video around SIP and the intercom function, etc. Okay, so once we're happy there, so we've got two web browsers, we've enabled our IP PoE speaker. Um, so we're good to go. What we will do then, so yeah, enable the speaker, web browse into it because it supports it. We need to then use uh, the IP speaker tool. So one of the tools, like I said, in the firmware software is this IP speaker managing to, uh, sorry, NVR audio upload tool. So for us to upload the automatic message to this, we run the tool, which I've done down here. We add our NVR. So you can see our NVR down here. Let's just find it quickly. So it's dot 24. So we're gonna add our NVR. Admin, click OK and add this. Okay, so we've actually added our NVR um, to the system now. Okay, so to use the tool properly, open up the tool, add the device. So click on add and type the thing or add it from the bottom list. But this is on a separate network segment. So it's very, very simple to use. So first of all, we need to do the audio uploading. Click on audio uploading. 
and I need to record. I can either add files in that I've had pre-recorded, or I can record my own music on a laptop or a PC with a USB microphone. So I'm going to click record and say, "Welcome to DVS. Please have a lovely day." So that could be one welcome message that we're going to use. Another message is going to be a warning message. So two different VCAs to trigger two different messages. Please be warned, this area is under surveillance. Please leave immediately before we let the dogs out. Okay, so two files, seven and eight. So seven is the welcome message. Eight is the uh, warning message that we want to associate. So click on OK. That's going to go and upload there. So now it's configured. So gone to uploading. Click on this little music icon. And you can see there two have uploaded. So we can clear those down. And the device audio contains all of these pre-recorded messages. So I can close that down now. And I can open up the web browser. So web browser of the NVR. Go down to smart event. You can use audio uh, motion detection. So motion detection will allow you to select um, a pre-recorded thing. The problem with motion is it's not very accurate. So you'll probably find you'll have lots of audio messages going off for no reason. So the best best option is to use a smart event VCA. Alarm input, you can do the same. So if you've got a PIR or a door contact connected, you can do that, which is a bit more reliable than motion. So again, alarm input or motion you can use for the trigger. Or we're going to use VCA trigger. So we're going to use line crossing and intrusion detection. Now we've separated the two... Uh, uh, intrusion and line crossing because what you could technically do is have line crossing um, so intrusion detection for in hours so in hours uh, somebody comes into the area like an entrance foyer and it plays the welcome message which we're going to do line crossing could be active outside of hours which plays the warning message so somebody comes on the boundary of the site which then out of hours will trigger the warning message so same camera two different uses in hours welcome out of hours piss off uh, for want of a better word, so intrusion detection. Um, we're gonna we've enabled it. We've drawn our area here, um, just uh, to the left hand side of the screen, and we're gonna associate it with uh, recording audio seven, which is the welcome message we just did. Click on save. Wait for that to save again. You could have the arm in schedule set to in hours only, and we're gonna associate it with IP speaker one. But I could tr use in the VCA trigger trigger all four speakers on my site. Um, but for purposes of demonstration, we only got the one uh, IP speaker connected. So similarly, if I click on line crossing, now I've drawn a line, enabled it, drawn a line um, to the right hand side of the screen. So this is the boundary of my site. And I'm going to associate that with the warning message, which is number eight that we just recorded. Click save. Um, arm in schedule 24 seven, or you can make it out of hours and then linkage method again, associated with IP speaker one and click save. Now, if I go to live view, and view this camera, we can trigger both VCAs, which will then show you the two audio files. Now it is quite loud, so you will hear it on the laptop. We're gonna use the laptop, I'm gonna walk with the laptop so you can see that trigger the audio message one, that trigger the audio message two, or six, six uh, seven and eight even. What you will see um, with this is if you trigger both at the same time, if one's triggered and another one triggers, it will cut the other one off and start the other one. So just bear that in mind. So we're gonna quickly Walk over and trigger the line crossing. I have to let the web browser catch up because I don't want to trigger the other one inadvertently. So we'll just trigger this one quickly. Please be warned. So you can see it cut it off. Welcome to DVR. Please have a lovely day. So again, trigger this one which is the welcome message. Welcome to DVS. Please have a lovely day. Now I go backward and trigger the boundary one. Please be warned, this area is under surveillance. Please leave immediately before we let the dog come. So you can see there, that's how you'd use the same camera Two different VCA triggers, which then gives you the option to be very, very flexible on these audio files. Now, I hope you've learned a little bit more on how this can be deployed. So there are some drawbacks that I want to sort of explain. Uh, and, and again, this has been put forward to Hike Vision for further development. But currently, you can't use the Hike Connect app to talk to the audio speakers. So the only way you can use externally talk to these speakers would be the use of Hike Central. But again, that's licensed. It, I don't think it's going to be long before we're able to speak to the speakers via the Hike 
Connect app, which is really what it's all about. Um, so I'll keep you updated on that. So again, no current live talk down to site unless you use Hike Central. Even IVMS 4200 can't do that function right now. And there's no in-between device that can do this. But other than that, that's the IP speaker setup. So four, so you can put, you know, quite a few audio files in there. Uh, upload it via that tool to the NVR. So you can use MP3 or WAV file format. You can use multiple VCAs to trigger this. Uh, the same camera can use multiple VCAs on different times to trigger different messages. So it's very flexible. Um, you can only have currently four IP speakers connected to the iSeries NVR or 512 via the Hike Central platform. Um, and that's it really. So hopefully you've learned a little bit more about it and any questions, we've got a new email address ask dvs at dvs.co.uk so any communication from the social media or youtube please just use that moving forward and we'll try to answer any queries you may have unless you're a dvs customer and please contact your sales rep who will be able to pick this up further please 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 enjoy your day i hope you enjoyed the video please like share and comment stay tuned for some prize giveaways due to our toshiba uh, linkage we will be doing some prize giveaways. So stay tuned, stay subscribed, keep commenting and have a lovely day. Thanks all.